first of all, I, I know we 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 got to finish up here. What a fucking ridiculous! I like Whitney, but what an embarrassing display. Oh yeah, I put I that mean, on here. What a I fucking to ask you about embarrassing that. display! By yeah. he's an embarrassment. I mean, I'm actually I, I like go him. back and forth with him in like a joking manner. Oh, it got he really pissed me off this weekend over this. He oh. like DM'd me like you're such a pussy over like, this whole thing. Yeah, like because all I did was facilitate the cut. The, I'm the producer, Barca Radio, so I had to call him. Right. He's mad about that. Yeah, that's I just... had to physically call him on our radio show. He's like, you made my son cry. <laughs> did you listen to the phone call? His son's crying in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I was I was telling Riggs I was I was in the drama the whole week. He's like, you miss. He goes, you miss made my son cry so i took a picture of the pink whitney bottle at the coliseum and he goes don't drink my drink well blaming the freaking producer for that's like blaming the guy you fucking whatever. so then i went off on him i'm like you'll never be anything in golf as much as you want to be and he didn't <laughs> you said like this that. to him privately yeah it's funny when you think of like really like where this started like, so then, you guys want to play a golf match and now you guys, guys are and he's like tip. uh go islanders bro he like really didn't have much to go <laughs> go back at me and i was like and i just wrote back imagine having a coach to play in local member guest tournaments. Well, that's a little strange. And he's like, I practice, sue me, or something like that. Well, here's the I thing. I kind of so had him on the ropes. I'm disappointed more in Dave on this one because, uh, you know, I always hear about Barca loyalty more important than anything. And Whitney's talking about, you know, a match would get some buzz. People would watch it. I'd be into it. I was thinking of going and watching it that day. It's in my state. And like, and, and Whitney's like, yeah, I'm doing this member. And Portnoy's like, oh, okay. You should have been like, fuck you. Don't worry. Your amateur status, you're playing in this fucking thing. Where I will no. say the four ball is sick. Like a, the four ball is essentially it's like a USGA version of like it's like the US Amateur. I mean, it really is. The US yeah. Amateur. Like yeah. w- like you know people get fucking jacked up for it. I understand that, and I understand where he's coming from. Nah, my no, part is that like I don't think it ever would have been a problem had he not of brought it up. Not. Well, that that himself. was the big that was the big because Barcelona is a place in which they can make exceptions for the rule. There is no other world in the internet or anywhere where two guys amateurs are going to get thousands of people to watch them play golf for ten thousand dollars in their money. They'll never have to deal with that problem again like no other two people will ever have to be like well Barcel did it let us do it they're never going to be in that situation ever they're never going to be able to get a golf course to give them their location like we did everything I think Riggs is Riggs's take I think is that you think Whitney thinks he's going to choke in the big spot I I he hates that too I hope well, that gets back to Whitney he hates when people say that well I mean I, I, mean, I think I, so too I don't know I don't know him at all I, I've talked to him a few times he's a very nice guy when I've talked to him he was super helpful to me before I signed before I signed up Barcel he walked me through some stuff I like him I can't believe he's not playing in this thing. That is fucked. To me, mad. Someone has to walk me through it. I listened to all of it last week. Yep. It is madness to me. I will say the last week has been very surprising. I think it's been a uh, public image wise the worst week that Winnie's had. And he, we had him on the ropes on the radio. You yeah. have him on the ropes in your DMs. It's been a weird he, thing. He responded now, private. You had having, him on the ropes. Yeah. Having, he responded to me, "Go Islanders, bro!" Instead of like coming back at me like he usually does. Having said all that, right? Like we're friends at Whitney. Like when we played golf, yes. we played golf at Spyglass, and we were out there covering the U.S. Open. Like we grabbed a couple pink Whitneys on like the third hole. We're all having drinks, laughing. Like we had a great time, even though we had a pretty good match and all that. Like we are friends with Ryan Whitney. When he comes in off camera, like we like we genuinely bump, we like bump the guy. He's, he's fucking dude. hilarious. Like a great and all that. Guy. Yeah, yeah. He is. I think it's got to be deeper than just. What we saw play out in terms of the rules and the it's just that like I think there's a part of it that doesn't want to play now I don't know if that's necessarily because he's scared or if he just really doesn't care about it which has been Dave's theory and all that but then he should have said that the whole time because he's letting everybody get hyped up about it but it's he's letting but, us yeah. blow it up he's letting Barstool do a whole production Dave was gonna go all the way up to Hamden Massachusetts which is bumfuck nowhere Big Cat was gonna go all the way up to Hamden Massachusetts it's bumfuck nowhere like it was a big production that he basically didn't let us know until a week before that he doesn't really care about that much the thing that pisses me off is that he always acts like nothing matters to him in the Barstool world and that really gets on my nerves a lot of the time because like without Barstool he he'd just be a retired NHL player that golfs and yes he'd have a great life yes he'd have 40 million dollars a beautiful family nice house country clubs the whole thing but he's clearly doing this for a reason this is like solidifying his post career this is what he's doing with his life is he's making a name for himself Ryan Whitney now has a fucking alcohol named after him because of Barstool Sports but that was so my talk- large but that was my larger point is that like, like stop all, acting like this right. doesn't mean anything that's my only stop thing all, all you ever cool. hear when I talk to Dave is hey look Barstool first Barstool first which I'm, I, I agree with I'm working here I'm happy to work here you can't be like eh four ball you're either in or you're not in that's all. That's what I think. And so it was surprising yeah, like Barso's to me. on the back burner. Like, what the fuck am I going to play Riggs for? It's like, dude, this is like your job now. Why are you acting like it's a joke? And it's a, it's a, it's bringing together your job and your favorite thing. So in the reason world. why you have Pink Whitney is because of Barso. Plus, it's a pretty cool. So do something very cool. Yeah. I would love it's to play in that. That's yeah. what I keep telling people. People all the time are like, "Aren't you nervous? Like, are you gonna put this?" I'm like, "Dude, I get to play in front of what will end up being hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, and I get to play for huge stakes. Like, think about how hard you, you try to recreate to that. that. Your life. You go to member guests. You go to right. USGA four balls. Why? Because you're trying to create like an important environment where you have to prove something athletically." 
and like that's what me and Whitney had with a huge audience is the coolest thing. It's, ever. It would have been that we said it would have been the biggest amateur golf match in the history of the internet. Try and think of two people that aren't pros that play against each other. That would have been I can't viewed really think by of any other one that would have been viewed by as many Not people. Even close. No, yeah, it would have got it would have been it would have been the biggest amateur golf match of all time. Do you we know got millions of views. More people would have watched that match than watched last night's final round. Did I got fucking, yes, I'm I serious. Think so, yeah, yeah. Sure. I, no doubt. Did I got PGA Tour guys in the top fucking twenty or thirty in the world texting me? I can't believe Whitney backed out. This like guys were like names? people names? were fired up to him. what kids JT. Yeah. Those guys are genuinely like, I can't believe this Once is happening. Once they honored us, I talked to a couple of players after. First thing they said to me is, when's the Whitney Riggs match? They didn't see it. I'm like, it's canceled. They couldn't believe it. Word was spreading around the NHL. Like, are you fucking kidding me that this thing's not going on? Now, the thing is now, if it eventually happens, you will be the overwhelming crowd favorite. That's the thing. Whitney has now embraced the heel role. Dude, the last fucking text he sent to me too was, uh, I, so I, I had found like another solution that I thought, and I'm like trying to entertain it, trying to talk to him, which again, trying to set all this shit this up. This one is, you told me before? Yes. Yeah. Trying to set all this up is really hard because it's you're you're dealing with like you're dealing with Whitney. Whitney's on his own schedule. He might be golfing all the time, and then with his kid who's like shitting in the back seat. And all his this own that. schedule is like his own rounds of golf that he books. He the last thing I said was like, hey, like so. There's this event in the in Bermuda that we might go to. He also has shown interest in going separately. I found this out. Bermuda is not under the USGA. It's under the RNA. So these people who I was talking to Bermuda, like we might be able to. That's in like a month or two months. So I hit him up and was like, hey, there's this idea. What, what would you think about doing that? He goes. I'm playing in the USGA tournament and leaving Thursday night. I, I'm playing in that tournament. I'm leaving Thursday night. I will play you after May if I feel like it, is what he said. <laughs> I kind of like it. He's embracing the, the <laughs> evil role. I get that, but then like publicly, he doesn't ever want to come off like a little bit of a coward. He doesn't want to play the match, so he like tries to blame it all on us. It's like, I if I feel like it. You, okay, think, you think he'll crumble under the pressure. Just say it. Just fucking say it. <laughs> Oh, I've said that for yeah, I've said right. that for a long That's time. It. I know Whitney is better than I am at golf. That's what the handicap system exists for. But I do the reason that I think I'll win this match is I don't think he will handle it under pressure. I think he's proven that. He's got swing coaches and shit. If you're if you've got forty million dollars in the bank, you played in the NHL, so you've got some of the best athletic ability in the world, and you've got swing coaches and you're only like a two who we've seen play bad golf before. Like clearly there's some flaws in your game. Yeah. And I think we'll I'll exploit that under pressure down the stretch. That's which is why he's not winning mass amateurs and shit all the time. That's correct. Right here. There you go. That's been my take and that's where this whole thing started from. <laughs>